Hey everybody, welcome back. We are now on price elasticity of demand and we're looking at the PED values in a linear demand curve. Right at the top, guys, remember that slope and elasticity are not the same thing. Take a look at this, guys. We've got a linear demand curve. What would that mean for a slope value? That would mean that slope is constant at every place on this curve. Since it's linear, the slope is constant throughout the entire curve. However, the elasticity value, no, it's not. It changes. The elasticity value is actually changing all the time. Wherever you're at on this linear curve, it's changing. Take a look at this, guys. From way here on the top left-hand portion of the demand curve, okay? Price high, QD small, if that's the situation. PED value, quite high, all right? Quite high, 13. What does that mean? That gives us, it's an elastic. It's greater than one. So let me write that on the board. So PED of 13, that is elastic. Now, we get a situation where price is small and the QD is quite large. What are we getting here? We're getting a PED of a very small number, okay? Look at that, 0.076923, da 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 Guys, what that is, that is inelastic. Now, just like everything we do here at Econ Busters, we do not want you to memorize this, okay? Don't memorize this. Don't think, hey, if it's way up here, it's elastic. If it's way down there, it's inelastic. We hate that, okay? Because that's going to fall apart on you. Memorize stuff. You get on the exam, you get anxious, and then you're like, what was it? No, think about it. I'm going to show you how to think about it, okay? Here's how it works. You get way up here, okay? You want to think about what is PED. PED is the percent change in QD over the percent change in price way up here okay price really big number when you have really big numbers and you look at the percent change the percent change is actually quite small okay got really big numbers and we're just having an increment of one a change of one with big numbers that's a percent change that is small QD, quite small, okay, increment of one. A percent change is large, okay, that would be a large number. Well, if we got a large or big number over a small number, what would we get? We would get something like this, a number far greater than one, which is elastic. Way down here, okay, at this point right there, let's take a look at it. Just, we already know percent change QD, percent change in price, all right? Percent change in price. Well, that's price is now small, okay? So we're looking at increment of one, a change of one, and the price is small. Well, guess what? We're going to get a big value for the percent change, or large. I'm using the word big and large interchangeably. Big value for the percent change in price. Now, QD, quite large number, okay? Looking at an increment of one. The percent change in QD is going to be small. So small over big, small over big, that's what you get, a 0.076923 value, all right? So quite inelastic. This knowledge is far more robust. You just thinking it through, you're gonna get the right answer. Now, a couple little addendums here, okay? Is there a point of unit elasticity? Heck yeah. It is the midpoint, okay? Wherever that midpoint is, I'm just gonna guess like it's about right here. Let's call that the midpoint right there. At that point, we are unit elastic. Anywhere up here, elastic, getting more and more elastic as we go that direction, getting more and more inelastic as we go that direction. But I want to show you one other thing that's kind of cool, okay? I'm going to have to step in the frame a little bit. I just want to show you something. I don't know if it's cool. It's just important that you understand it, really. It's probably the best way to say it. So I'm going to do another linear demand curve, and then I am going to do another linear demand curve. All right, so now I've got three linear demand curves. The temptation, okay, would be say, hey, this one's more inelastic, this is more elastic, this is even more elastic, okay? Let me say that again. You'd see this, this is steeper, so you say, hey, that's kind of more inelastic than these two. This guy's in between the two, and then this one, much flatter than the other two. This guy to be a lot more elastic. Okay, once again, linear demand curves, and elasticity is not slow. Guess what? This dot right there, and this dot right there, and this dot right there are all unit elastic. That's right, those are all unit elastic. The midpoint of all demand curves, if they're linear, if they're linear, is unit elastic. And over here, elastic, elastic. Let's write that, elastic, okay? Elastic, elastic. And over here, inelastic. That's just how elasticity works, all right? And we have robust knowledge because even if we forget this, okay, because we don't want to memorize it, we can use this little trick, okay? Percent change in 
price, okay? If price is a big number, okay, an increment of one, the percent change is going to be small. Percent change in QD. If QD is a small, yeah, I dropped my marker right there. If QD is a small number, the percent change is going to be large or big. Remember that and you can always just think through the problem, okay? Because you are probably going to be asked, you know, are you in an elastic portion or inelastic portion of the demand curve? And if you can't remember what's to the left and what's to the right, you use this reasoning and that's what gets you there. Anyhow, hope that made sense to you guys. Remember, linear demand curves have many different PED values on them. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.